Hey guys, welcome back to Free Guy Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Fusion this generation here from year 2013 to year 2020. If you have one of those and you have the option of heated windshield, but it doesn't work, still we just will explain which two fuses control it. One uh, fuse controls one half of the windshield, one the other half. We'll explain where you can find them, they're hidden, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So let us tell you a little bit about us guys. When we get a car here at the garage, we try to make at least 200 free repair videos absolutely to you guys we make a video about every single fuse every single relay let's say you're in the middle of nowhere your car doesn't start you can easily identify what causes that you can search for engine starter fuse uh, fuel pump fuse let's say that's a problem you replace it you're back in the road it takes less than two minutes to watch the video guys so uh, that will be guys our mission to make your life easier and to solve your problem now uh, in addition guys we have other channels as well we make to 300 free repair videos on every car we get at the garage take them completely apart we do engine uh, work transmission body work engine codes fuses anything like that now why we do that to save you money guys so uh, on this Ford Fusion there are different years okay through uh, through the uh, different models through the years from 2013 all the way to 2020 there will be some minor differences about the fuses so if you uh, notice that we mentioned up to two three different fuses for the same thing it could be because uh, it could be a different fuse for a different year but we're trying to help all of you with that generation for fusion so let's start on it now so guys the heated windshield fuses where you can find them we will demonstrate on this generation ford fusion by the way guys you have many fuse boxes and some are very hidden we're working just one of them today but check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on ford fusion open the hood here guys under the hood okay if you come you see on the right side you have that cover that looks like a t if you open it that's the main engine fuse box but underneath that one on the bottom of that fuse box if you go ahead and pull the tabs it's going to flip and once you flip it on the bottom of this one you'll find hidden fuses before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so another thing guys before i forget if you guys need to buy any fuses realize parts tools for ford fusion or any car at a good price quick shipping we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience that way you do not waste your money and time for the heated windshield two fuses will need to be checked if you have that option where they will be located guys okay you see that section here that will be fuse number 61 that hole we don't have that option but if you have it it will be right here and the second fuse that you will need to be checked will be fuse number 66 guys and 66 will be that one here so two of them diagonal from each other hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time